Yeah, let's hope this is enough. Hi, and welcome to my guide of the quest, the obelisk. To be able to complete this quest, you must be able to defeat a combat 10 goblin. If your combat level is 10 or below, then make sure that your apothecary skill is above level 2 so you can make 20% healing potions. You could also try to do it without healing potions and just hope for good RNG. <laughs> level 5 is not enough. So after you've ended your tutorial, maybe go to the training grounds and train on some guards until you're at least level 5. This way you can also upgrade your weapon and get some gear that you can equip. Once you think you are ready and you are above level 10 or you have some healing potions, let's make our way to the town square and from there let's continue eastward. Through Old Street and keep going east until you've made it to the town gates. Here at the end of the town gates, you'll see that you're able to go north or south. Either way, you will get attacked. If you go south, you'll get attacked by level 8. If you go north, you'll get attacked by a level 6. Go either way and just use your immunity spell above your screen to avoid this battle. And once the immunity is taken care of, walk up the stairs and here you'll find Commander Hackett. Let's talk to him. And select the third option. Did you need any help up here, sir? There will be a delivery of two new swords that needs to be tuned. Though the key to the chest has been stolen by a goblin. Let's follow it southward and defeat it to get that key. If you are getting low HP, Make sure that you consume your healing potions. Did I seriously just get my alchemist to level 3? Just for my second attempt to not use any healing potions, are you serious? Anyway, once you have the key, let's go back up north, back to the commander. Let's use the key on him. He will open the chest and he will say that we will need to tune the two swords. Tuning is pretty important here. And to be able to tune the swords, you'll need to head back west, back to the town square. So let's go back south or north. Passing the goblin soldiers, or the level 8 goblins, and let's make our way back west to the town square. West of the town square, there will find a boulevard, and just south of the boulevard, there is the home port obelisk. All right, here at the town square, just a bit west, is the boulevard, then head south, and that is the obelisk. Let's talk to any of the two corporals and select the second option. Could I help fix it? I will need to find a missing piece. To find it, let's go north, then back to the town square. From there, go south to the eel bridge, continue going south, and in the eel street, go east, continue east to the pufferfish, use your sense, and you should find the missing obelisk spike, take it, and let's make our way back to the obelisk, which is west, eel street, then north, eel street bridge, continue north to the square, and then west and south.
here at the obelisk let's click on it and use item on and i use a spike this should trigger a cutscene of both you and the corporal failing to attach the missing spike After the cutscene is over, go to your quest lock of the obelisk and then click on the manual. Read it. And then talk to Marissa. And she will redirect us to the philosopher. The philosopher is located at the town gate. So, let's head back up north to the town square and from there go through Old Street East two town gates. The house located south at town gates is the house of the philosopher. All right, let's enter it and talk to philosopher Nabeth. Select the third option. I'm told that you might be able to interpret this tablet. And she will give us four more quest items. With our four new items, we will be able to fix the obelisk. So, let's return over there. Once back at the obelisk, let's enter it, and if we use our sense spell, we'll find two ancient posts. The northeastern post, click on it, use item on, and select the arrow one, the two with the two arrows. Then the northwestern one, use the squiggly one. This is not random for everyone, everyone needs to use the same icons on the same post. Next, go south, and on the southwestern post, use item and select the key icon. And then finally, the southeastern one, use icon, the unknown Pokemon one, and this will trigger another cutscene spawning a Krim Knight. Creonite. Let's talk to this new NPC and select the first option. The obelisk is broken. Then select the second option. Maybe our magic suppressor is blocking you. And once you've selected that, we will need to make our way back to the training grounds. You could either simply run back or go to your spells and select the Hope Port Teleport. If you haven't unlocked this, then you simply need to go back to the town square and simply go back up north. Once you've arrived back at the training camp, let's talk to the most western NPC, Anjai Saradon. And select the fourth option, we need you to grant magic access to a Cryonite. Next, follow him, and let's also make our way to the obelisk. Here at the obelisk, let's talk to the mage, and this should trigger another cutscene, I think, of the obelisk being fixable. Once the magic animation is done, let's click on the obelisk, use item on, select the missing spike, and you will be able 
to place this missing spike and fixing the obelisk. Making us be able to tune the two weapons that we've gotten from Commander Hackett, which was the entire point of this quest. So, let's click on the obelisk and select tune item and do this twice for both swords. Tune item. Alright, number two. And once we have our two tuned swords, let's make our way back to the town gates to return these swords to Commander Hakot or something and complete our quest. And congratulations, you have completed the obelisk quest. You are rewarded with the use of the Hope Port Obelisk, an uncommon wall guard sword, as well as 10,600 guard experience. Let's use the tuned swords on the guy and quest is completed. We get me from level 5 to level 12. Almost 13. Alright, this was my guide how to complete the obelisk quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Get the fuck out of here, goblin.